seen it. The scheme is this documentary about the uh, big NCAA uh, bribery scandal that happened. And when it was being reported on ESPN and all these other networks, it seemed pretty clear cut that these coaches were getting bribed and that's how players were going to the universities, et cetera. And then this documentary comes out and really exposes, at least from what I saw of the first half, correct me if I'm wrong, the federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, the feds, kind of entrapped him, in my opinion. Okay. Entrapment, uh, and the reason I know that this is something that happens because we were talking to uh, one of El Chapo's lawyers for another episode earlier this week right. uh, about lo- money laundering and just about El Chapo shit in general. And he used to work on the attorney general side. So he was before he was a criminal defense attorney, he was actually a prosecutor. And he saw shit that the feds and the NYPD would do to kind of set up clients. Mm-hmm. Right. And um, so basically with go- this Christian Dawkins guy is telling the feds. He doesn't know he's a fed. It's a guy who's a, right. an informant. Yeah. Right. He's telling him, hey, I don't want to bribe the coaches. It's stupid. They have no influence over the players. I have 10 times more influence than any coach. And, and the, the guy- FBI wants to catch the coach. The FBI sets up a system where. Hey, Christian, you pay the coaches, and then the coaches will pay the players or whatever. What the FBI wants yes. is a bribery scandal. Yes. So they create one. Yeah. Now, granted, coaches and universities have been playing play, paying players for years. Yeah. So it's not entirely untrue, right? right? What they're, like, apparently, if you're a kid that comes from, like, an urban big city, you're getting $250,000 a year, right? Yeah. Dennis Smith Jr., I think he got quarter million to go to play South Carolina or the fuck he played. NC know? State, yeah. NC State, North Carolina State, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like all these players are getting paid, right? Where they're getting paid and how they're getting paid, maybe it's from the university, maybe it's from one of these handlers, but they're getting paid. Mm-hmm. But the feds basically go, we want to get coaches paying the players because coaches are uh, attached to the institutions mm-hmm. and coaches also are getting money from these brands, these sneaker brands. Yeah, That's a bigger fish. If we just get this Christian Dawkins guy who's this quote unquote low level handler giving money to the players, a few grand here, a few grand to coaches, that's not a national story. We're not breaking down institutions. It's just right. one actor. Yeah. It means nothing. So they kind of make it up. Yeah. They force Christian Dawkins, even though he tells them multiple times no. Yeah. They kind of bully him into agreeing to pay the coaches. Yeah. And then does he even pay them or he just keeps the money? He keeps the money. So he keeps the money. He doesn't even pay the fucking coaches. He never pays the coaches. But is that legal to force someone into doing illegal activity that they tell you they don't want to do and have no interest in doing? Yeah, I think that they, should be illegal. I think they essentially are trying to get him on keeping their money. Because he would take the money they paid him and he would just keep it. He would never give it to a coach. He'd just go out to the strip club or the casino or whatever. And he kept... So the money... They, you find this out later in the movie. When he gets arrested, they, they basically bring him into a hotel room and they play all these recordings or whatever. They're like, he's supposed to go in for a meeting. There's two feds there. And then the lady that's the undercover officer is like, we got you. You can either cooperate with us or you can call a lawyer. And then he's like, let me talk to a lawyer. And then immediately they got motherfuckers bust in with guns. They throw him in jail on some real Alex shit. The first two nights he was in Sweden where he's in there with like, he said, I'm in a prison cell and El Chapo is upstairs. That's who they got me with. That grade of criminal. And he won't snitch. He's like, I'm not telling on any of these coaches. They're hoping to use him to tell on the coaches. And he's got, they got recorded phone calls of coaches basically saying we're paying this guy, but they never actually used the words, we are paying him money. Right. Mm. So they're trying to get him to be a CI. Like, you wear a wire, you go in, you have other meetings with these guys, get them on tape saying, you we're going to pay this player money, $125,000 a year, and you're good. And he won't do it. So now they're trying to bring him up on something. And they come up with wire fraud. I don't know what the fuck. They, it's, they do some shit on some... Bullshit. Some Al Capone, Elliot Ness shit. Oh, we can't get him on anything like murder, so we'll get him on tax evasion. It's the same kind of thing. So this is what they do. They work up the ladder. Yeah. They set this guy up. They basically entrap him. Yeah. Okay. And that because they know by entrapping him, he has such close proximity to coaches that then he might flip on the coaches. Yes. But they have to create a crime for him to commit. Yes. And I'm sure this happens a lot. And dude, it's fucked up. I didn't know that it operated like this. And I was talking to this lawyer guy. He said this. This fucking blew my mind. He was working at, uh, for the for the Bronx uh, Attorney General's office or right. Bronx District Attorney, and he was representing this uh, heroin dealer. 
Yeah. Low level heroin dealer. Not saying it's okay. It's a shitty fucking thing to do. Right. He's representing this heroin dealer. He was like a part time heroin dealer. He sold a little bit, but it yeah. wasn't his main thing. And the informant, the CI, right, is telling him every week, hey, we got a few more guys downtown. Hey, we, we need bigger quantities. Can you get us a bigger quantity? We got like 100 guys downtown. And the guy on the recorded taping is saying, yo, please stop calling me. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm out. Leave it. No. Hey, it's the easiest thing in the world. It's a no-brainer. Literally, they're just mm. these rich guys. But I'm done. I'm d He's saying I'm done. Now, ultimately, he makes his decision. You make your choice. You have to live with your choices. But you shouldn't be tricked into breaking the law by right. the law. Right. 